Okay, so um, I'm going to show you that we are in judgment. Why was this a service? Um, why was somebody in the White House and let's say an armed guard uh, that had three felonies was right next to Obama on the elevator? Why? Hmm. That's because God has lifted his head of protection. Look, we can't do anything. We, look, our nation, we're damned, okay? Unless we turn back to God. Jesus said, if my people repent and turn from their wicked ways, I will heal their land. Look, I'm going to tell you about Job. In Job, chapter 1. Okay? I'm going to go down. I'm going to show you. And the Lord said unto Satan, Okay? And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and indwelleth it evil? Then, then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for not? For you put a hedge about him. See, we had a hedge around us. God was protecting us all these years. And when our pastors, such as, let's say, Joel Osteen and Rick Warren, Kenneth Copeland, all them bad um, pastors that led everybody astray, uh, let's say, evil ass whore Oprah Winfrey, uh, well, they turned our nation into a scum pit. And it doesn't matter. Obama can walk around. He don't even need Secret Service. Believe that one. Ain't nobody going to harm him. <laughs> He's doing Satan's bidding. He's doing God's bidding. He's judgment upon our nation. Why do you think uh, that person made it all the way to the East Room? Look at that dude had a gun. Was standing right next to him in the elevator. What happened? Nothing. That's what's going to happen. Nothing. Sorry. But see... God asked him, and the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Satan's all over the earth, okay? We can see that with looking at what's going on in our country. Now, uh, somebody on Twitter asked a question. We need someone to close our borders. And my response is, look. We all need to call our senators and demand they close our freaking borders now. Guess what? I ask God. I ask God. I say, uh, in prayer, I ask him. I said, Father, can you please shut our borders? And he said, no. Okay? No. We need to, we need to turn back to God. And we can't expect ungodly people such as Rick Warren or Joel Osteen or Oprah Winfrey or T.D. Jake to be any kind of religious people because they don't know God. They don't know God. They never did. But people such like me, people that really do know God, I'm going to tell you right now, I've been talking to a lot of people. And a lot of people that are Christians, they don't even realize they're not even saved. When I ask them, are you born again? So they stop and think. And I said, by you stopping and thinking, I know you're not. I got people call me off the hook. I got people wanting to tie ropes around me because when I get raptured, they want to be latched on to me so they can go out with me. It ain't, it ain't going to work like that. Boo-hoo. It doesn't work like that. Sorry. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you people. I'm giving you the word here. God has lifted his head of protection. You know, after all this stuff that happened, I'm going to give you the cold, down, and dirty, as fast and as hard as I can give it to you, the word, the Bible, and you can read this all for yourself here in Job 1. Um, when it all came down, and Job lost everything, he lost his, uh, his sheep, he lost uh, his sons, his daughters, he lost everything. And he said, the thing I fear the most has come upon me. And if you would go to the top of the chapter and you would start reading about this, he was doing sacrifices unto God for his children that they would blaspheme God. That's what this whole thing is about. And he was doing sacrifices 
for them so that they wouldn't. See how it says burnt offerings? I know you can see it because I can. See? Every morning he would get up and he'd do burnt offerings for the number of them all. And when, and so that his sons would not blaspheme God. And when this thing happened to Job, all the, everything that he feared the worst came upon him. And it wasn't that he wasn't unrighteous, because you, look, God is sitting there telling Satan, there's none more righteous than my boy Job. Read it. Read it. And Satan says, well, you put a hedge around him. So I can't do anything. Well, guess what? Job did sin because he, by him not believing and trusting in the Lord, would be righteous about his children. It opened the doorway for Satan to come in. So, God let the heads down. That's what's going on with us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that's what's going on. And even, um,. When Job lost everything and he got these sores and his friends were sitting there and they're all, even his wife was telling him to curse God. Just curse God. And he says, no, I'm not going to curse God. You know, God came to him and he was going to kill his friends. And Job asked him not to. You know, and Job asked him not to. At the end, you'll see that God restored him. So whatever portion he had before, God doubled. Look, we'll be in for a blessing. God, yes, we're going to be destroyed. We can't. God lifted His hand off of our nation. That's why them people can go in the White House, Secret Service. They don't even need Obama can walk around. He don't even need Secret Service. I'm saying that right now, because ain't nothing going to happen to him because he's judgment on America. Sorry.